Live exemplarily, love authentically, and lead relationally. This is the Inspired Family Leader Program with Samuel A. Bakutana, your host, a certified executive coach, an award-winning leadership consultant, global speaker and author, the CEO of Inspired Leaders International, and the Provincial Fathers Union President. What a joy to have you this morning, this afternoon, this evening, depending on where you are watching us from around the world. This is a program that seeks to encourage, challenge, you know, inspire and equip men so that they can be able to expand their capacity for family leadership. So that when they do that, who knows, together we can cause community transformation, social transformation, national transformation. Today, we are talking about an interesting topic. One that you don't usually hear people talking about, yet many people are experiencing it. And it is something that we need to talk about. I have a friend of mine who recently uh, got married and after getting married, just a few days after that, he went back to the Middle East to go and continue the job. And so the wife is at home wondering whether she is married or not, feeling like a single woman even when she is already married. Today we are talking about the long-distance marriage. The long-distance marriage. How do you go about it to make it work once you are in one? And to help us unravel the intricacies of this topic, it's none other than somebody who was once in a long-distance marriage, who has experienced it in different seasons of his life, somebody uh, who is a husband, a father, a fellow man, a great gentleman who empowers people, a parenting coach, a children's advocate, a marriage counselor, my friend and my brother, Mr. Dixon Tumuramie. Dixon, you are very welcome. Thank you so much, Mr. Wakutana. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Uh -huh. How about you? I am awesome. I'm a bullion. <laughs> I'm doing well. That's interesting. It's good to have you here today. I'm also very happy to be here. You know, there was some time ago when we wanted to come and be together, but then it wasn't possible. Mm. So mm. here today, it's Finally. good to have you. Finally, good has made it. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. How, how is your home? How is family? I can say family is very okay. Yes. Uh, my children, my wife, mm -hmm. they are all very okay. Mm. Uh, right now, I think they're also watching and seeing what is happening. Okay. Yeah, so we are okay. So I go right this. ahead and introduce yourself to the, to the audience, to the people who are viewing us. Who are you? Tell us something about yourself. Uh, thank you so much. Um, mm. My name is Dixon Tumrami, as you've heard. I am a, a, a child advocate, a parenting coach. I am also a marriage counselor. But I also work with Ghana Christian University as a stand registrar and uh, in the Director of Postgraduate Studies. Mm. I also have uh, an NGO that I started recently, so I'm the Executive Director of Hope Regional Africa. It's an NGO that's taking care of uh, orphans and vulnerable children. And so we are trying to make sure that we bring hope back to those who have lost hope, those vulnerable children. And even women who no longer have hope in their lives. How about men who are also vulnerable? Those ones you don't uh, no, no, give no, actually, them attention? Men, I am mm. so much patient about men because I am also a leader of um, Men of men Purpose, purpose. And program. Also, yeah, and also, the reason why I started Men of Purpose is because as men, we, with people think that we are not vulnerable. So yes. our, the focus is always on the girl child. Yes. They think that when you have empowered the girl child, yes. then you have done everything. But mm. you, you forget <laughs> that the, the person you're leaving behind, this yes. boy child, mm -hmm. is just so vulnerable in his own way. And yes. tomorrow, if not very well empowered, mm. he will not be able to take care of your, of your daughter because he's going to become a husband. You will probably disempower the empowered girl. That is true. Yeah. Because he doesn't know what to do. He's not well informed. You know, when a girl is well empowered and... She has all the skills, she understands mm. what to do. Mm. The gentleman here doesn't know anything. Yes. Because it's, it, the gentleman has no mentor. Mm -hmm. The gentleman has no kojas because the girls have the same What girls. is koja? It's such a terrible Australian okay, viewers. The uncles who <laughs> okay. should be giving advice. <laughs> yes. You know, and the, the aunties who should be giving advice to this girl. Yes. You know, this, this young man. Mm. For them, the, as the girls have the aunties who are helping. Yes. The, who are called the singers in Uganda. Mm. Now, the, 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 the boy child does not have anyone who is mentoring him, okay. guiding him on what he should be 
moving on right. with life. So that creates a gap. Okay. And so I'm so much passionate about them. Mm. So as we are looking at this organization, mm. it's going to be helping every vulnerable person. Make sure if you have anything that is that you're not very much empowered, then we shall help you to be empowered. If you have any problem, should be be helping you to get back to where you're supposed to be. Okay. Yeah. Well done. Thank you so much. <laughs> I've been seeing a number of things happening around your life concerning empowering, you know, children, empowering men, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth under the Men of Purpose program. That's true. So thank you for adding value to the lives of many people. It's my pleasure. And it's for that reason that you are on this program today, because we thought that you have a lot to share with our viewers. And I'm here. Yes. So this is a leadership program mm -hmm. at the core. Mm. It's a leadership program. Mm. It focuses on leading the family. Mm. That's why it's called the Inspired Family Leader mm. Program. Mm. So let's begin from there. Mm. In your own view, just in general terms, what would you call leadership? I think in general terms, mm. leadership is the act of guiding mm -hmm. or an action of um, giving a direction, mm. causing an influence. Mm -hmm. A group of people with an organization and it's most especially giving a strategic direction mm. that leads to achieving a certain goal. Yes. This gets more, that's what I can say about this. So it's, you, you, as you as a leader, you must make sure that you, you are, you are someone who's giving a clear direction mm. to take people somewhere, or yes. organization to somewhere, mm -hmm. to reach a certain goal in a certain period of time. Yes. Yes. Not just being on a march past and no, 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 being no. active, but without having a direction yeah so you must be having a direction where am i going where yes. am i so there must be a purpose there must be a vision there must be a clear mission and of course objectives mm. so that they can guide you in doing what you're intending to do and not and then not just doing anything and then you, and then you then must you be having a project management background somewhere yeah that's true <laughs> <laughs> because i hear the choice of words <laughs> yeah yeah so leadership being the act of guiding giving direction causing influence, yeah. giving people strategic direction towards the achievement of a predefined goal. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. So now that this is family leadership, what would you call family leadership in that case? Uh, uh, family leadership mm. is still giving direction mm -hmm. and clear guidance mm -hmm. to your family. Yes. And of course, a family may be a, a, a nuclear family or an extended yes. family, depending on which kind of family you're leading. Mm. But at the end of the day, they want to see you as a leader. Are you causing an influence in your life? Mm. Uh, in, the, I mean, in the life of your family? Yes. Are you causing a change, mm. a clear transformation? Is that a unique difference from other families? Because you must have a clear direction that makes your family more special and unique from yes. other families. Some uniqueness of some families is quite negative. So maybe a positive no, uniqueness. A positive uniqueness, yeah. <laughs> because we are looking at you achieving a, a clear goal that is mm. positive, not mm. just a, a bad goal. Because a leader must be uh, trying to achieve a positive goal, not a negative goal at the end of the day. Mm. Yes. So as a family person, as a father, as a mother, we are looking at you uh, as a person who is giving that guidance to your family. Yes. Especially if you're a husband, that means you're giving it to your, to your wife and then to your children. This, and even the, wife, the wives, they're mm. also giving the, uh, guidance to their husbands because mm. they're helpers. Yes. They're companions. They, come they work to together make, yes. towards that direction. That direction. So yes. That means there must be a clear vision. Of course, there are families which, by the way, don't have vision mm. and mission. So they're just there. Yes, we are a family, but they don't know where they are going, maybe. Mm. But there must be a clear vision for you as a family man, you as a father of the family. All right. Have uh, a clear vision of your family and know where your family is going and let it be known by everyone yes. in your home. <laughs> okay. Mm. So as a, as, a, as a husband, as a father, you need to have that clear direction and vision for the family. So our topic today is the long distance marriage. Yes. A, as simple as that and as right. complicated as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The long distance marriage. marriage. Mm. So we don't want to assume that we are on the same frequency, that mm. we are on the same lane, that we are on the same page mm. as far as understanding what that is, is concerned. Mm. So just to make it clear, what is a long distance marriage? Uh, a long distance marriage is where a married couple stays apart from each other. Mm -hmm. You're married. But you, know, you don't stay together on a daily basis mm. or on a regular basis. So because you are apart physically yes. from, one, from one another, and especially for a given period of time, mm. then that, that causes it to be 
a long distance marriage. Mm. Yeah, because a couple should be staying together every day. A couple should be staying together. Could every you first day. say something more about that, please? Now, when you get married mm -hmm. and you're now a husband and a wife, mm. that means you should be staying with your wife daily. Actually, when you read the Bible, by the way, mm. the honeymoon was for one year. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that biblically, it, yes. a man was not allowed to go out there to do anything, to fight battles after marriage until Just the end of one year. one year. The honeymoon was one year. But now, because of so many reasons... It is one hour. Even <laughs> as That's true. <laughs> Immediately, you just finish the party. Uh, Some people just say, you know what? Now that we have finished. Yes. Please. Mm. You know, the job is demanding or something yeah. is demanding, bye. Yes. See you another time. Mm. And then... <laughs> There's no any kind of bonding. The nothing. drama begins. The drama begins immediately. So, in other words, you're saying the original design of marriage was that husband and wife should be living together. Mm. Okay. Because you see, the Bible says that when, when, when you're reading uh, Genesis uh, chapter 2, especially verse, verse 24, mm. that a man shall leave his father and mother mm -hmm. and be joined to his wife, mm -hmm. and the two shall become one. Mm. That means it's an issue of living. You leaving your parents, mm. then you come to stay with your husband or with your wife. Yes. And then that means you're cleaving. Mm. So as you, you cleave, you become one, you become one fresh. So that, that, that oneness that brings you together. Yes. So now, when that oneness that should be putting you together daily mm. now gets apart, and of course, we know, know our vows, mm -hmm. say nothing should do what? It put us, uh, you know, apart, yeah, separate apart, us, yeah. apart from death. Sun, yeah, sun. now here, some things just cause a what? That separation, mm. yeah, and that causes uh, the distance between us. Yes, Begin, uh, getting apart and apart yes. and apart, mm. and some people get apart, and before they know it, it's become, it becomes a very wide apart. <laughs> it's uh, it's too apart yeah, to indefinite to make sense. Separation. Oh, yeah, and yes, it has happened. Yeah, it has happened, uh, and that makes me want to ask, what are some of the common reasons why people end up in long distance marriages? L let me put you on spot. Mm. If I know this very well, if I did my homework well, I know that as soon as you, you, you wedded uh, on the, was it 20th of November? Of November. On 20th of November, 2010? 2010, yeah. 2010, on the 20th of November, uh, 2010, 2010, as soon as that happened, about a week later, right? Yeah. There was long distance marriage started. Am I right? Very right. You know what was interesting? What was your reason, and what are the reasons for others that get them into long distance marriages? Just, just give it, give it a short background. Yes. That time when by the time I met with my wife, she's called Prim Tumrami. Yes. And uh, that time we were both working in compassion projects, mm, but in different in centers. The, yeah. She was in Kunjiri. I was in. You were in Metoma. Yes. Mm. So by then, as time went on. She got a job with Uganda Christian University, uh, uh, Kabari. Okay, the, Bishop Baram uh, University. Bishop Baram, yeah, University. Mm. So there we kept in touch and you know, things are moving on. But by the time, towards our wedding, mm. which was August, she got a job now in Mukono at the mm. main campus, UC mm. main campus. Mm. And then our, our little wedding was just in October. So, I mean, uh, sorry, November. November. So immediately after wedding, she was, because we wedded on, on 20th, it went to go for honeymoon mm. and she was supposed to be reporting on first december <laughs> so that means basically we are together for like less than 10 days because you know you're up and down this and this and that is happening yes so there was shifting of course from shenyi after yes. the honeymoon so we went honeymoon for four days not even longer yes days so then we came we had to shift mm. and when i when i brought her here immediately I had to go back to resume work because I was on leave, I was moving up and down. So you were now, about 400 kilometers apart. Apart. So after now, one week of after marriage. After one week of marriage. So you can imagine. <laughs> so that was the so, first phase of our distant, distant marriage. Yes. And went on for more than six months. Mm. Until then later I got a job and came this side. Okay. When I got a job, I still was in compassion. I first went to Entebbe. Mm. I was commuting from Okono to Entebbe. Yes. Then after one after one and a half years, mm. now I got I was I got a transfer and I went to Buyukwe. Yes, deep in the village in the there. Village, yeah, Makindu Church. Far away from center, the city yes. center. So still there, I was now staying there. And I would come over the weekend. <laughs> that was another kind of distance so marriage. So it became a weekly <laughs> yeah. weekly meeting. In 2016, she was going for further studies. And by that time, you had three children already. I had three children. And the eldest was four. Four. 
And then the youngest was around, uh, was less than a year, around uh, 11 months. Mm. So she went for further studies. So coming back to your question, what are the common causes of uh, distance marriage? One, it's yes. work, as we've heard. Mm -hmm. For me, the first one was work. Mm. Because these days people are looking, for, they have to survive. They have to earn a living. I hope they will go beyond surviving and they go to thriving. Ah, okay, also. thriving. Let me say thriving. <laughs> but you know what it gives with survival, then yeah, you go thriving. When definitely. things have become better and normal. Yes. So, that causes many people to uh, be a part. And that's mm. actually, that's so, jobs. Common. Yeah, jobs. Uh, looking for jobs here and there. Mm. Or sometimes it comes by choice or transfer. Mm. So, I find that because of that, the employment has caused that. Also, as I have talked of career advancement mm. or further studies, mm -hmm. especially people who are studying from far away, uh, maybe far away from your district or your home, yes. or maybe abroad, and those, especially those who go for PhDs or masters, you know, most of the PhDs are three years and mm. above. So now imagine you have gone for a PhD of three years or four years. And it's full time. And it's full study. time, yeah, study. And if you don't have, uh, f maybe if you don't have scholarship or mm. you don't have full scholarship that allows you to come back home, mm. to check on your family after a given period of time, comes worse you can even yes. take three years without coming back mm -hmm. you come back until the course is over yes Others, so career advancement career advancement mm -hmm. also, well, also think when it comes to jobs that the, the other people who go out or who are out of their uh, their homes because of special assignments special assignments, assignments. now yes. like look at uh, the doctors mm -hmm. look at uh army men yeah now we as we know that we have some men i mean some soldiers from Uganda, mm. who are in other countries like Somalia, South Sudan. Yeah, last South Sunday I, I met a lady who told me about the same. The husband is uh, is far away in, in in West Africa, and mm -hmm. here we are in East Africa. Yeah, you can and, imagine. And he's been there for quite some good time. That's another challenge. Now we yeah. on a special mission. On a special mission, you're a doctor, and then you, there's now a border in in Mubende. They say now mm. you know what we want mm. you because you're an expert. We want you in Mubende. Okay, that is uh, Another, uh, that's another uh, reason for distance marriage. Mm. But also health. Mm -hmm. Health wise, you could maybe find that one of you is sick. Yes. And maybe you have to seek uh, a special medical attention. Yeah, mm. medical attention from either within or outside. Mm. That, that can also create that, that change of um, a gap. I thought you would go together. This is your wife or this is your husband. You give, the, you give him or her to other people to it take? It depends. Now, for example, you might find that you are, you are supposed to be going to. Let me, give an, let me give an example. Mm -hmm. You have someone who, like, for example, you have a child who is sick, mm. and the child is supposed to be going to uh, maybe to Mbale, uh, mm. there's, a, there's that children's clinic in yes. Mbale. Mm. And there, they, I, I'm told you, they only allow one, uh, one caretaker. Yes. So now, if you're two, if you're, both parents, they can't allow both parents, they can't. They allow one person. Yes. So now, if a child is on a special treatment, that means, and for a long time, maybe three months, because the brain is under condition. Maybe, maybe more than a month. That, mm. that would mean that is that distance. But also, you know, when you are going out of the of the country for for special, special treatment, sometimes you don't have money, especially when it comes to cancer treatment. Mm. You've had couples who have separated. Not, I mean, who have gone um, one of them mm. because of money or because one has to take care of that of the family here. Yes. So that also can cause that challenge. Okay. Yeah. So sometimes it's jobs, sometimes mm -hmm. career advancement, like further studies, mm -hmm. sometimes special assignments, and sometimes imprisonment it's also, also health. by the way. Which one? Imprisonment. Imprisonment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, if your husband is imprisoned or your wife is imprisoned, now <laughs> automatically there will be that physical distance between the two. Of them. And uh, it's also still long distance marriage. Look up now. What, what do you call yeah. it? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> because like the two of you are apart, <laughs> much as you're married. So that's also <laughs> kind of uh, yes. Distance marriage. Long distance marriage. Mm. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. So, people who are watching us, we are going to be taking a very brief break. Uh, and then when we get back, we are going to understand what are the common problems that those people who are in long distance marriages often face. And we will also get to understand the impact of long distance marriages on children and then look at how we can actually make it work. Studio, I have... My brother, a parenting coach, a marriage counselor, and a children's advocate, Mr. Dixon Tumramie, who is the assistant registrar at Uganda Christian University. Once again, you're welcome, Dixon. Thank you so much. When we took a break, you had just explained the common reasons why many people find themselves or why many people get into long-distance marriages. Mm -hmm. Now, what are some of the common problems that those who are in long-distance marriages 
face what are some of the common struggles because you are a marriage counselor i believe that a number of them have come to you mm -hmm. so and, and anyway you also were in a long distance marriage so what are some of the struggles <laughs> that yeah. you experience yeah thank you so much mr wakutana mm. uh struggles actually that are very many mm -hmm. because in this long distance marriage some people don't communicate mm -hmm. Or even when they communicate, the, the communication is not very effective yes. and, and consistent. Mm. So there's that poor and bad communication mm -hmm. that happens along yes. the way. Mm. And of course, when there's that poor communication, it creates a gap. Mm. And as it creates a gap, there's also always mistrust. Mistrust. Because you're not sure why someone is not communicating, <laughs> why communication is not very clear. Why is she silent hey, these days? Silent why is my husband... He used to send me messages you know, every day, morning. Yes, what is happening? Now these are two days. Two days. <laughs> there's a lot of silence. I think he got another girl uh -huh. there. So now when that comes in, as you, you develop mistrust, mm. and then suspicion, also, and that, that suspicion, most of them are now become unfaithful. Mm -hmm. infidelity. infidelity and faithfulness. Yeah, and faithfulness also mm. come in. Mm. For you know it, of course you have heard stories. Mm. Someone comes back and the wife is pregnant. Yet, the man left for uh, like five months ago, yes. and the woman has a pregnancy of three months. Of three months. Mm, Holy Ghost. So, you, when the, you end up <laughs> you know, losing it, you know, so another change that now, uh, of course, as you, you, you are apart mm. physically, mm. you lose intimacy. Yes, loss of intimacy. Intimacy. Mm. And of course, it becomes worse when this intimacy, because you know, when the two people come together. There should be, especially when married people, mm. sexual intimacy is a part of what makes this marriage uh, thrive. Yes. Now, Even in some languages, by the way, yeah. the word they use for marriage mm. connotes intercourse. Uh -huh. you, you go to Western Uganda and ask, uh, what do you call marriage? Which has a lot to do with the bedroom matters. With the bedroom matters. <laughs> so now when the bedroom matters, actually the core thing is almost... When the bedroom, even when you're staying together mm. and the things are not working, yes. then that means the marriage will always be struggling. Now mm. imagine if you are par, uh, far apart yes. for many years. You lose intimacy. You lose it. Mm -hmm. And of course, another change is that when you are far apart, even if, uh, socially mm. and emotionally, mm. you create a gap. And it's so when, emotional when you have gap. To, yeah, emotional uh, gap also comes in. Mm. Then when you have children now, mm -hmm. it becomes worse. Because they can't see daddy. Yes. They don't know whether even some of them even don't know that daddy exists. Mm. They only hear about the name. Now, what for me, what happened actually when my wife came back from her father's studies? Mm. She came and then we were, our child had made um, one and a half years, more than one and a half and a half years. Now, when she entered the house, because we were chatting, we were chatting on video, and mm. so the, the child could at least see and hear the, the voice. Mm. Now the person comes physically. Mm -hmm. My daughter, she's called Deborah. Now she's seven years. Mm. She looked at the mother. The first thing she got excited. After like one or two minutes, the face changed and she took off. Why? Immediately. Because she's not, she doesn't know this person very well. Maybe yes. she's a stranger. And so now I think insecurity came in. Mm -hmm. I have another friend of mine who were together in the fellowship and we were sharing us that he would come every after two weeks. Mm -hmm. The children would say, they would come and say, Uncle, don't ah. come back. Oh, then the no. mother is explaining, No, oh, this is your dad. No. Ah. Then he's also trying to be able to explain, You know, you, my children, I'm eh. your dad. And these were like eh. four or five uh, years uh, old children. So the man huh. troubled and he left the job. So now imagine your children, your own children are calling you Auntie, they are calling you uh, Uncle, they're looking at you as a stranger, yet eh. you're the one supporting them. Uh, the, the house girl, the house help, the maid is the one they yeah. call Mommy. Now he's the one called Mommy. And imagine you're the mother. But this one is now the, the main. The driver is the one who is the daddy. Yeah, the driver is the one No, no wonder daddy. after some time he plays the daddy roles yeah. if you're not careful. If you're not careful. And before you know it, your child is pregnant. If mm. you have another child. Mm. I have also, I have a friend of mine. Actually, last night we were in the fishing and we were sharing with us that when he, when, when he had gone for further studies. Mm. Actually, yeah, just with, here within Uganda. Mm. But then at the time of giving birth, he was not at home. So when he came back after six months, the child was old and the child also was looking at him as uncle mm -hmm. now the child is 23 years right now mm. but there's no connection because he lost the window of opportunity yeah. those first few months yeah. of a child's development actually they said the child bonds with the parents and, and develops in everything personality and all 
in the in the first five years. Mm. So now, if the child has failed to develop relationship with you in the first five years, mm-hmm. you will hardly bring this child close to you. I think that's why in in hospitals, every time it, a mother gives the birth, mm. they just first make the child. Uh, Put the child in the chest of the heart. Yes. With the mother, to have some connection, connection, immediate connection, immediate connection. bonding. Bonding. Yeah. When 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 we when we gave birth to our second born, mm. our son, mm. uh, the, the the first born, there are some things I hadn't known. There are some mm. things I hadn't learned. Mm-hmm. There are some things I didn't know as a man, as a father. Mm. But by the time we got our second born, our son, prosper. I was already equipped in many areas as a parent. Mm-hmm. I was already knowing many things. And one of the things I already knew was that I need to bless my child at birth. But there are seven stages where a human being is supposed to actually be officially blessed by mm-hmm. a parent. By the you know, at conception especially, during... Especially the father with the spiritual leader. Yes, the, the father. Mm-hmm. So at conception, when uh, my dear wife gave birth to our son, then they, they gave her the, the child. Mm-hmm put the child here after about two minutes I said now give me my son Mm -hmm. (coughs) so they gave me the boy so I also got him put him here Mm. and started to talk with him said I introduced myself like I was giving a speech I said my son my name is Samuel Bakutana Mm -hmm. I am your father Mm -hmm. I am the one you've been hearing talking Mm -hmm. to you and to mommy when you were in mommy's womb Mm -hmm. and now that you are here we've really been waiting for you and I'm glad you are here I am going to look after you. I am going to love you. You are my dear beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Mm -hmm. And I am going to provide for you, protect you. I will be a good dad to you. So now after how, blessing mm-hmm. him and saying those words and he was silent like he was really listening as, as if it, yeah. Yeah, like as if he was getting everything. Mm-hmm. Then I took him back to the midwife to continue everything they were doing. I felt like I had done a very profound thing at that very yeah, that point. Me, yeah. To make an immediate connection to hear this voice of a man speaking to him mm-hmm. and to know that there is a male voice here. Yeah, and that's the way to go. Because this is your blood, this is your body, this is your everything. So basically, you just duplicate you, you yourself yes. in another human being. Mm-hmm. Much as you might be the same, the color may be different, whatever, but at least this is your own human being. Of course. Yeah. So, in other words, people who are in these long distance marriages, most times, they face a challenge of poor or bad communication, communication. which causes uh, a gap mm. that brings mistrust that mm-hmm. may cause infidelity. Mm-hmm. They also face loss of intimacy. Uh, there is an emotional gap. And sometimes their children live like orphans yeah. when the parents are still alive. Still alive. And that takes me to, uh, to dig a little bit deeper concerning the aspect of children. Mm. In your view, you are a children's advocate. You've worked with Compassion International for many years. Mm. Your wife, Prim, is mm. right now the communication specialist for, for Compassion International African uh, region. Mm. Children. Mm. What is the impact of the long-distance marriages on children? Now, we have already talked about that kind of loss of intimacy mm-hmm. and the bonding between you and your children yes and that's the most traumatizing thing by the way mm-hmm. and now also you as a parent when you're not living with your children you will never understand them mm-hmm. because you, you are supposed to be mm-hmm. helping them to mold them yes. into what you want them to be mm-hmm. now they're being shaped by secondary parent mm. either tv or the housemaid mm. or any other person yes not you yourself that means you, you, the, the values mm. that you do have wanted to instill in your children, mm. the things you have wanted to see in your children, mm. they are not there. Yes. Because it, someone else is doing it on your behalf and is doing it the way they want. Yes. Remember we talked about a family having a vision. Mm. So that means if you're not there, especially when you're a father, children will never understand the vision mm. you have for them. They will mm. never understand what is happening. Because they, you're not there to give them guidance and clear direction. So you lose that from yes. the word go. Again, children will always be there in kind of uncertainty and insecurity because they're not very sure mm. what's going on. Much as yes. they are, it's like even when you're there by the way, you know, we have parents who are present <laughs> physically but absent. <laughs> exactly. You know, they talk of absentism, but yes. I call that presentism. Yes. You are present, but you are really absent. You're not felt yes. by your own children because you come. You either go to the bedroom or you disappear to the farm or you even during the weekend 
you put legs on the table and watch TV. And watch TV. And There's no connection socks, between yeah. you and your parents. So you're also like a kind of living <laughs> a decent marriage with your children, a decent parenting, parenting yes. relationship, relationship with your children. With your children. Mm. So now when that so that gives them insecurity. Insecurity, because they are not able to know that mm. you know this is what my dad wants. Mm. So character building becomes a challenge for you mm-hmm. as a father. Mm-hmm. But also children also lose out. On, 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 on what should be shaping them because they don't have their dad who should be mentoring them yes. and uh, being their role model. Mm. It also becomes a challenge. Again, when it comes to parenting, we have talked about secondary parenting. We now know the changes of secondary parenting. Mm. We now have, we have heard of, of maids or how, uh, houseboys who come in our houses and they are t- teaching our children bad models of mm. sexuality, mm. especially when it comes to sexual abuse. Yes. So your children are at the risk of being abused mm-hmm. by this other person because it's not very, very compassionate, mm. like you as a parent. Mm. That also becomes another, another challenge. That you, mm. you as a parent, if you're there, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Yes. But also we have heard of couples who, because of, you know, they said out of sight is out of mind. <laughs> now, if your children are not seeing you, that means they will never know you. So even as they are growing up, they also think maybe that's how life should be. Yes. And when they also grow up, they so will So it becomes a wrong modeling for your yeah, children. Your children, mm. and they don't bother whether you're there or not. They don't understand. They don't even communicate to you. So there's that kind of gap that you create, which may be very hard for you to build and bridge mm. if you're not very intentional and deliberate. And honestly, as you say all these things, I in my mind I'm saying, could it be that maybe there is a point where we need to sacrifice some of these opportunities mm. in order to keep our grip on the opportunity of staying together as husband and wife mm. and also as parent and children? Mm. Is there that point where we should say, well, the opportunity for making more money has come, but I will not take it. Well, there is a better job. Mm. But for the sake of being with my family, mm. I choose not to take that on. I will find a way how to still work and, and look after my family. Is there that point of sacrifice? Or as long as there is a, an opportunity, we jump on it? That point is there. And it is you, the parent, to make that choice. Personally, where mm-hmm. I work from, I work at Uganda University and I stayed just very near the university. Yes. Like two kilometers from the university. Mm. I have had opportunities of jobs up country mm. which could be paying better than what I'm earning right now. Mm. But I asked myself, when I lost this opportunity of mentoring my children at this stage, mm. where I gain it tomorrow? So is it about money? Because you know, as I'm not only parenting my children, but I'm also building other things alongside with them. Yes. Make sure they are also developing other skills outside the formal kind of setting. You know, it's not about taking them to school. Mm-hmm. So I'm also helping them to develop these other informal skills. Mm-hmm. And we do them during the week, uh, the weekend, mm-hmm. or public holidays, or even even in the evenings. Yes. So now it's at this time that children can be well mentored because in, in there's this saying that you bend a tree when it's still very young. You bend a tree when it is still very, very young. young. Yes. Yes. So it's at this moment that I'm trying to bend my tree. Train up a child in the, the way, way he should grow. go. So that when they grow when up, he grow up, he will not deviate. He will not go away from and it. And the Bible saying a child, and when the child is someone who's below 18 years. Okay. They don't think train an adult. They think a child. <laughs> yeah, so it's if easier to mentor a boy than to wait and mend a man. You know? Mm-hmm. So as a parent, we need to be very deliberate and know what do I want? What's the purpose for, for my family? Mm-hmm. If I take up this job, what are the risks? What, what are the benefits? So you have to weigh and see what am I going to benefit? What am I going to lose? Because you might want to chase money but lose your family. You might want to chase that job and then lose your family. Not a job, you can be replaced on a job. But you, you can never be replaced on your family. Say that again. <laughs> you can be replaced immediately on a job. Uh-huh. But with your family, that can never be. If you don't mind, kindly say it again another time. You <laughs> can be replaced on a job. But you can never be replaced in your home. Your you can, never can be, replaced. be replaced on a job. But you can't be replaced in your own family. That is extremely profound. You see, at, 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 at that workplace, things can be different. You, you can get a different job. You, you, can be, you can be fired. You can, be go aw- you can go away and so on and so forth. And or even you can die, God forbid. But you know, that's a reality. And in the next just few days or even hours, there will be somebody in acting capacity. There will be, there will be a replacement. 
before you are even buried, there will be a replacement. We've seen it. it happened recently. We've Uganda. seen it many times, even here in Uganda. Mm. Uh, High-profile people. Somebody dies, and even before they bury him, the elections are already going on. They have to first replace him, even before the burial. So your workplace, you can easily be replaced. You are replaceable. You are not indispensable. Mm. But when it comes to your family, you are irreplaceable. Mm. When you leave that family, when you go away, the children can't go to a supermarket nearby and buy a new dad to be in acting capacity. <laughs> no way. They, they, they cannot go to, the, to their neighbor and acquire a new mom just because for you, you went away to do these other things. So I think that's a profound truth that Dixon has just mentioned. That in the workplace, you can so easily be replaced. But in the life of your children, mm. you just cannot, you are irreplaceable. And I think when we remember that, it should make us to make some tough decisions as far as the long distance marriage arrangement is concerned. That leads me to ask, mm. <clears throat> Is there something to do with the timing that we should think about? For example, is there a wrong time to be in a long-distance marriage? Or timing may not make sense? I think there's a wrong time. We give examples. And after you've shared that, we will again take a little, just a little short break and then we come with the, the practical how-tos to make the long-distance marriage work. So, timing. There's a, time, there's a wrong time which comes with poor planning. Poor planning. Mm -hmm. Yes. For example, if you know that I am going to get married mm. and I'm going to be out of this country mm. for another, maybe another period of time, which is like a year or more, mm -hmm. and then you don't plan very well doing your courtship mm. of how you're going to mitigate that. Yes. So you go, you don't even think about sending money back home to, to take your spouse yes. to find you where you are. Mm -hmm. So the, the wrong timing comes in when you, you, you have purpose to be apart from your, from your family without planning without planning so if there is no prior uh, 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 planning planning for that long distance marriage arrangement mm. and you go without any good preparations put in place what's going to happen to your wife what's going to happen to your to your husband what's going to happen to your children how often who will take meet? care of what mm. how often should we meet if you haven't done that, that? regardless of when it's yes. a wrong time it's a wrong time because we know that there are different factors that lead you to distance marriage. Yes. So some, may, some of them are always inevitable mm. because it might be beyond your control. Yes. But at least even then, have a schedule, have yeah. a plan in place be between the two of you. Yes. Plan. So you know what? Now that this one is beyond our control, because mm. for example, we are talking mm -hmm. to family. Yes. Or maybe because of health reasons. Yes. You must go out of the country mm. for further treatment, mm. or for better treatment, or for further education. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't plan very well, what will happen? What will happen? I gave you an example of our family. We had three children. Why that we got our children? Uh, in three children, almost uh, less than less than five in years. Four years, yes. Three now you can. So they were years. very young, but we agreed. When when an opportunity for a scholarship came, mm. I told my wife, you know what? I would rather resign from my job, mm -hmm. but for you do what you go, mm -hmm. because you, you may not have this money tomorrow yes. or this opportunity. Because sometimes the chances knock knock once. Mm. I told her, let's you just go and leave me here. Mm -hmm. I am going to be here. Mm. And I will take care of these children. And on that point, we are taking a break. And when we come back, he will complete that story. What happened? How did he manage? Because the wife now leaves. She goes away to study. And here he is with the three children that were produced in four years. The eldest is four years. Mm. And here he is alone. Young man in his marriage. Not even five years in his marriage. Three children on the table, wife away. And so the long distance marriage has to work at the same time. He is single handedly parenting his children. You could be in that kind of a situation or somewhere close to that. We are taking a break, and when we come back for the last lap of this program, we are going to be talking about how do you make your long distance marriage work? Because at the end of the day, it has to work, it just has to work. Once you start it, you have to make it work. Once you get into it, you have to make it work. Take us to the practical how. So if I am in a long-distance marriage 
for all the different reasons we've talked about and many more we haven't talked about how do i make it work yeah thank you so much and by that it's possible to make it work yes of course many have done it yeah and that possibility must be intentional and deliberate there's mm -hmm. no choice mm -hmm. so it is the two of you to agree on how this one is going to work mm. because as we said some factors are beyond your control you yes. have nothing to do about it so how do you make sure that you and your spouse are in it and you're in agreement mm -hmm. and you have you have fully accepted and you have to move on mm -hmm. so that you can thrive with your family mm -hmm. and things remain together without nothing mm -hmm. without anything separating you for life one so one when someone is far from you mm. open the channels of communication open channels of, of communication. communication yeah mm -hmm. let it be very clear effective consistent and constant because there are people just as we already mentioned mm. some people just co just communicate and somewhere somewhere there they disappear yes <laughs> so let it be very consistent and these days actually are so much gifted with a lot of chances that you can use to opportunities of communication with mm -hmm. your folks we can do whatsapping mm. like for me when my wife was out of the country whatsapp just come by it wasn't so much common mm. but every day we do uh we talk we do record we would record mm. messages yes and then we exchange mm. then at that time we had uh, skyping we had skyping so we used to skype a lot yes. in the night <laughs> now the zoom the microsoft uh, you know so that that's yeah Teams, uh, Microsoft Teams is there, Zoom is there, there are other uh, video conferencing channels that are yes. many. Mm. So uh, even you can, you can also use WhatsApp to come now to do a, a video conferencing and you talk to your spouse, so there's no excuse. So make sure that every day, at least on a regular basis, mm -hmm. communicate to your spouse. Every day. S every day. Yes. Send a text message, and even you, not only respond, but if you okay, let's say for me now, let's now talk, take it to a family level, basically. Mm. Talk to your family, your children, your people at home, even your relatives, your siblings and your parents, they also mm. need you. Yeah, but beginning with your wife or your husband. Yeah, your immediate jail starts uh, there from yes, there. Yes, so make sure that your family, your immediate family, feels you. And by the, the benefit of, uh, I, was, I was looking at uh, the, some of the benefits that they talk about with, with long distance marriage is mm. that emotionally, Mm -hmm. It brings you close. Mm -hmm. That's the, 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 the one of the benefits. Interesting. That emotionally, you become so, so close. Because, How does that happen? Because you're, you're communicating a lot more than if you're together. <laughs> you're now you're sharing feelings every time you're sharing whatever is happening, thoughts. And I am missing you. I'm missing I can't you. wait for uh -huh. when you return. So, communication. But also, you as a couple, mm -hmm. I, I already talked about agreeing on mm -hmm. the time frame. Agree on the time frame. Yes. Mm -hmm. When are you going? When are you going to be coming back? Yes, yes. How often? Because you know, when you're apart, come, visiting each other might be expensive. Mm. So now, depending look at, on where you are, on the, where the, you the are, length yes, of the distance. On the, on the distance. So, agreed. For us, when we were, when we were, we were still up country and mm. she was here, mm. we agreed. And actually, for me, I was working over, over the weekend. Mm. So, most of the weekend should be the one to travel. Yes. Because I had to be on work. Mm. But also, I also had to agree with her. And also, in a month, if you come twice a month, yes. I also make sure that at least once in a month, oh, I come that side. I come that side mm -hmm. because it had to be a, a two way. Mm. So I agree on who will be traveling when, and then if it has a big cost implication, also I grow on it. How mm. are we going to make sure that there's no financial crisis as we're doing this? Yes. Also, as a couple, make sure that you meet each one's emotional needs. Mm -hmm. and that comes with what we're talking about. Uh, the different things you do, even when you're not together. Yes. I have a friend of mine who is already out of the country and he was sharing with us uh, this week that from what he does uh, with, with coding and what they make sure they do activities together mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm. They, watch, they watch a movie together. How? When you say together, explain. Yeah, together they are, because they are far apart. Out so, of the country. so when you say together. For example, mm. they, 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 if there is a movie to be watched, yes. they can do a zoom and then they share the, the screen. Ah, it's happening at the same time. Yes. 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 They pray together. Mm -hmm. And you know, nowadays online, uh, most things are, done, are now done online. Mm -hmm. So pray together online. You, if you don't have a Zoom link, Google, there's Google Meet for you, mm -hmm. free of charge. Of course. So do that. So do certain activities together so that, they, that, so that they, bond, they make you bond even when you're apart. But at least emotionally, mm -hmm. you keep together. Yes. Also make sure that you as a father, you pray for your children, you keep checking on your children mm. now and then, mm. and even your spouse, because your spouse is the primary person in this thing. Mm. Yeah, so make sure that you keep at least close to your children. 
and also min, 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 when, 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 you, when you have come to visit your family, mm -hmm. when you're close, then silence electronics. <laughs> electronics, Aya. gadgets, gadgets, phones, phones, laptops, laptops, tabs, <laughs> and then maximize that time. If it's just uh, like two weeks, I mean two days or three mm. days or one month of yes, week, yes. Make sure you you are together with your family. Mm -hmm. Don't allow other people to come and intrude and interfere with your time. <laughs> Talking about that, Dixon. Yo. My son came back from abroad. So they all come. The whole uh, comes. I, they all so come the and fill the house. The time when you're supposed to be once again bonding with your wife. You're going the back. whole village is yes. in your house. Mm -hmm. I, I heard about somebody for, for her what she would do. Mm. She would not tell them, the relatives, the in-laws, that her husband was coming back. Mm -hmm. Instead, the husband would come back like on a Monday. Mm -hmm. He stays there, mm -hmm. and then she tells them like on a Thursday or Friday, say, by the way, he came back, he's mm -hmm. here. Yes. So that at least they first spend some days same together. Day, same days together. So silencing the gadgets to maximize that time together, yeah. but also making sure you are putting away and these the, many other people yeah. and prioritizing time with your family. Don't travel from up country. I mean, from here going up country. Yes. And then on the plan, a visiting farm, going yes. for the wedding, and but the whole weekend is gone, yes. and then you're back. You'll have wasted time. And then time. you claim you went to check on, you your, on your yeah, wife or your husband. That cannot work. So make sure that you create, you create time. And then also for, for uh, have support system. Mm -hmm. For me, I'm, I think that I'm born again, and I have many fellowships, and which actually helped me a lot. Mm. So make sure that you have people around you, mm. either your relatives, and actually your children actually can be your very good support system. Mm -hmm. So when you have children at home, Use them to make sure that you bond with them. They, you become their support system, but this will become your bond, uh, support system. Also, make sure that at that time you have fellowships. Mm. If you're a Christian, go for your fellowships. Yes. Have other things that keep you busy. Be busy in good and positive things. In positive things. So that you don't have this thing of thinking that, no, an idle mind is a, is a workshop of the devil. <laughs> so when you're idle, I think just crop in your mind, and then mm. before you know it, you're stressed, you, you're depressed, and you, you have lost it. Yes. You don't have this even. Uh, the, the, that the the the, the zeal and the, and the willingness of Stephen to, to check on your on your spouse. Mm. Again, also as as a married person, when you are, when always pray to God, mm. pray and pray and give God for the best. I know actually for me, I always believe that when you are a Christian, good things happen to you. So read the <laughs> Bible, pray to God, seek God in every situation, and God will put that that uh, storm. Mm. Down, he'll calm it down. Yes. So don't be anxious and say, Where can I run to? What to do? I do no. God is there. Yes. Read the word of God and pray and seek God. All right. Again, as you when you when when you you're just there, make sure that you also look for other things. Maybe take make sure that your children are also not idle. Mm -hmm. When they come back from school, make sure that they, that they, they, they don't feel like now what do we do that is not here mm. no one is taking care of us no give them responsibilities at home so now that you are not there how do you give them responsibilities by remote no 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 you you, you you're the mother who's at home the, okay. i mean the spouse who's at home the spouse who is at yes. home because the you see mm. you're, when you as you as you're also trying to nurse your own challenges mm. personally mm -hmm. you also have especially when you have children <laughs> you have these children also take care of them and meet their yes all their needs holistically mm. because for them everything is happening to them mm. they are also struggling with not having a parent around. yeah around them so much just to keep them busy okay. give them things that can keep them busy but also show, show them real love and use positive or affirmative words mm -hmm. i love you when mm. you call when you're far away and you're calling to tell them i love you mm. i am far away but you know even if i'm far away i am i am doing abc like, let them know what you're doing and explain man be, be open to them <laughs> so they know that our dad went for a job yes our dad, our they can't doing, tell yes. what it is yeah, if they can't tell what it is then they will always be insecure all right so do you have any specific message for the men particularly who are in long distance marriage in just one minute and we close the program now my fellow men hmm. we are the ones who marry and bring this, these ladies to our lives so now if it is you that is leaving this lady that means you are not maybe either ready for marriage or you are creating problems for yourself now now that you had a very clear plan of why you want to get married and maybe we, read, we started talking about leadership and we said leadership is about guidance and strategic direction. 
So it is now your responsibility as a man to make sure that you are giving clear guidance and direction and make sure that your presence is felt even when you are, uh, we, we are far away from your family physically. Mm -hmm. And every marriage su succeeds very well or stays very well when a couple stays together. So where things can work out and there's a possibility, don't allow this, that distance marriage to happen. And if it has happened beyond your control, create time to be with your family. Agree with your spouse. Agree with your family. At much as I'm not here, but on these particular days, I'll be coming right. to check on you. So don't just leave your family apart. Create a, a gap. You already talked about someone who went and uh, after one week and uh, yes. is out for one week, has never come back. Yeah. It means maybe that person was not yet ready for marriage. Actually, the, the, the girl left. Now you can imagine. So yeah. do you blame the girl? No. Mm. So if you're a man and you're not going to be out of the country for these reasons, Agree with your spouse and always create time and come back. If it's because of your job, agree with your job. But you know, I mean with your employer, that yes, I love my job, but my family comes first. Cherish your family doing anything. So always give time. Let them allow it to always come back and check on the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, check on your family. Mm -hmm. Give them time, quality time when you come back. Don't just come and then you're everywhere like MTN be <laughs> with your family. <laughs> We are going to give you an invoice. You are passing some some adverts for some companies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen who have been watching, I have heard what he just said a few minutes ago, about, about two minutes ago, saying don't allow that long-distance marriage to happen. I heard that statement. And then he said, but where you can't avoid it, then. So I think that's a critical thing, that to the best of our ability, we should keep together as husband and wife. But knowing the world we are in, a number of times that won't be possible.